I have, I think, 18 left to remake. I, I could be wrong, though. I'm not the best with math. I have to use the calculator on my iPod Touch, and I really don't know. And yes, at first, I wasn't going to mention this series at all. This series was really stupid. I was really, really bored one day. One of my first series of all time on YouTube, Two Pissed Off Hands. It's pretty much my hands being pissed off at each other. Really, really stupid. I made, like... I think 12 of them. The last one was a remake, and I don't plan on making any more of those. At first, I wanted that series to be popular, but that series wasn't well, wasn't popular, so I decided to just go with making rant. So I pretty much left that series behind. Oh yeah, here's a trivia thing about things that piss me off. When I first started making the things that piss me off series, it wasn't called Things That Pissed Me Off. It was originally called Do You Wanna Know What Pisses Me Off? But then I changed the title because I just thought, you know, Things That Pissed Me Off just sounds a lot better. And where did I get the idea of Mustache Man, okay? So, last year I wanted to do a Christmas special. At first I was going to make fun of a Christmas carol, but then one day I was watching this spoof of The Grinch and it had Sonic characters instead of, you know, the Grinch and all that. So that pretty much gave me the idea of like, hey, I should spoof the Grinch instead of a Christmas Carol. So then after that, I I spoofed the Grinch and and I had to have more characters in in it. So so that was where Mustache Man came in. But at first he didn't have a name. He didn't get the name Mustache Man until my birthday special. And Mustache Man was just the the randomest name that I that I came up with. At first I was gonna buy one of those fake mustaches, but I thought, hey, it would be a hundred times funnier if I just had a comb like taped on my face and I have like the Borat accent. And Mustache Man has has gone fantastic reception and people just love Mustache Man. And the latest appearance of Mustache Man was in my Seat of Chucky movie review. Oh yeah, speaking of movie reviews, my very, very first movie review on YouTube was my very first review of Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. And that was the video which got me a little bit more attention. And my video, my video response about Fred Talks About Teen Choice Awards, one of my most popular videos of all time, that video got me some attention too. Like... In the video, I was freaking out about like Fred being nominated and all that. When I first started making videos, I barely had any fans. I was really hated. I got a whole bunch of hate mail for for like talking crap about Fred n being nominated and all that. But to be honest, that video was kind of of a meant to be a joke. And then last summer came my homemade Jackass series. You remember that series? The series got popular, but maybe a little bit too popular. Like, people at school were talking about it. My mom found out about some of the stuff me and Jeremy did in the videos, and she got pretty pissed. She took away my camera, but luckily I had my camera back. She, and my dad almost, almost deleted my YouTube account and blocked me from, from YouTube forever. That would have sucked. So then after that, my parents forced me to delete all of them off YouTube, so... You can't find them on YouTube anymore. At first, we were we were gonna make a whole second season, but then that got canceled. Then we only made one episode of the second season. So there you go. There's pretty much my whole history of YouTube. And since when I when I first signed up on YouTube, I pretty much became obsessed with it. It's so addicting. I mean. I mean, whenever like you watch this video, you want to go watch this video, and oh, just type in this, and oh, type in that. It's so addicting. It's so much fun. I remember back in like the eighth grade and freshman year, I, I, I always went on MySpace, but screw MySpace. Now I can usually go on YouTube, and I've met a whole bunch of cool people on YouTube. The list is so long that I can go on, and it's, yeah. Oh yeah, I haven't mentioned this. YouTube is where I met my ex-girlfriend Charlie. Yeah, I know, it's pretty weird that... That last year, I got a girlfriend out of YouTube. 
Yeah, pretty weird, isn't it? So anyways, that was my YouTube story. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.